Hamilton organization raised over a million dollars to build a one-of-a-kind learning center and library in the war-torn country of Liberia in West Africa. But their work isn't done yet. They still need more money to finish off the project that will give people in that country something they haven't had, access to books. So the Library Learning Center um, is a combination of a public library, children's library, a small business incubation center, um, a sports and recreation facility, and a cultural archive. It would be the only one of its kind in the country. Leo Napulu Johnson says it's taken 15 years of work to make this dream a reality. In essence, it's taken an incredible amount of work, first of all, to convince people that this was even possible. Donors were skeptical. Even Liberians living in Liberia did not believe this was even possible to begin with because for a very long time, this hasn't been something that has been within the realm of possibility in Liberia. Nupolu Johnson, who founded Empowerment Squared in Hamilton, says $1.2 million American was raised locally to build the first phase of the Liberian Learning Center in Painesville, not far from Liberia's capital of Monrovia. The work has been incredible on all sides, locally in Liberia, raising the funds to actually do it um, from people who've never been to Liberia by and large in Canada. So it's incredible. Many people are still trying to believe that we are at this stage. But the project isn't done yet. The group still needs another $1.3 million to complete the learning center. I wanted to do this because in a country like Liberia, if you are my age group, um, all you've ever known has been the war and relief. Um, there's never been a time, there's been an opportunity to, to aspire. I'm excited about the building, I'm excited about the opportunities there, but I'm even more excited about the fact that a young Liberian can now aspire that it is possible to aim for the best, it is possible to plan for the best, and if you do what you have to do well, others are willing to join you in that endeavor. Nupolu Johnson, who fled the war-torn country in 1998, says there is only one textbook per 15 students in Liberia and no public facility of its kind in the entire country. Our biggest concern is the demand at this point. We're already worrying about our ability to meet the demand um, for the facility. The facility will be run by Empowerment Squared Liberia.